Ciao everybody, welcome to a new Let's Play, which will be rather special. I will be uploading this Let's Play on two channels, my own and another channel that was just recently made known as Saving Point Plays. Um, I'll link to the description, but this is Resident Evil 4. This will be a mostly blind Let's Play. Although my co-commentator Ryan, aka Dust Golem at Aesthetic Gamer, will be helping me uh, find certain treasures and medals and whatnot. Um, this Let's Play will be different on both channels in that I will not be speaking over cutscenes in my channel's Let's Play, but I will in the other channel. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornell, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. 
parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez, who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Oh, Leon, he's such a ladies' man. As you may have noticed, this first part is uh, post-recorded. Talk to this guy. Huh. Forget your makeup or something? What a jerk. Anyway, um, I lost the first part of the recording of this audio, so it's post-recorded. I mean, post-commentary, my bad. So, in a few moments, Ryan will magically be joining me here in the middle of the sentence. And I will see you guys in a mere second. Life is a helpful albit takes a little bit of time to oh, train oh, tool. Oh, crow. Oh, crow. Crow. No. Fuck, it flew away. Oh, there's say, another one. If you, can shoot it before it, yeah, if you can shoot it before it runs away, it'll drop usually some money or something like that. So. Got it. I got one. <laughs> Did it drop something? Give me. It got a spinel. Oh, that, that's actually more helpful than you might realize. That's probably worth more than if it had just dropped gold, so... Yeah. There's a flag flying around. Oh. Creepy, like, man! Yeah, it's... I'm guessing it's Creeper looking out the window, right? Yeah. Do-do-do-do-do-do! Ooh, a box! Eh, you box. Everyone knows that the natural enemy of government agents are boxes. Except for there was nothing in that box, so I just broke it for no reason. Also, before you go inside the house, it, I, mean, I mean, before you go inside, just check around, because you went by the side of the house. And was that the box that you got, though? Or did yeah. It? Yeah, okay. That one was There's empty. nothing in it. It's randomized, because there can be something in it, but doesn't mean there always will be. You lied to me, box. Okay, now I'm going to go in the house. Come on, Leon, let's go up the stairs. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a little girl? Ooh, what's this? Check. There are very small items on the shelf. Nothing particularly unusual here. Cool. Thanks, Leon. Uh, excuse me. Sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! All the enemies say during the uh, Die! Can I kick him? Yeah! Take this, motherfucker! Yeah. Shit. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Ooh, money. Give me. Yeah. Is there you anything should've... upstairs? Yep, there is something upstairs. And by the side of the stairs. Always good to check out. Ah, around. handgun ammo. Yay. Oh, oh lovely. Should I jump out the, the window up here? Yeah, though, did you check out what was behind by the stairs before you left, like on the bottom half? I just jumped out the window. Hello, friend! Oh god, there's a guy there. Ow. Aw, oh, jeez. Hello, friend. Oh, I killed that guy with one hit. Hello, that friend. Was a good shot. F you! Okay. 
That's not how you treat your That's friends. Okay. Or is it? Not? Oh, 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 he dodged my shot. Oh. Fucking Matrix going on here. Ow. Excuse you, sir. Did I say you could do that? Ooh, gimme. Maybe in a different language. Get on the ground! Oh, Leon had to... Why are, why are you not dead? Die, please. He wants to live. Okay, now he's dead. And Leon is in pain. He didn't drop anything? How rude. I don't know. Can I go back in the house? Yeah! Okay. So you said there was something by the stairs? Yeah, it's nothing really important. It's just kind of interesting. I want it. Oh, how lovely! Right? Oh. I just thought so it'd be... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, be... oh, check this guy. He's not a zombie. Thank you, Leon. Thank you for that. Now let's jump out this window! Now, see, if you <laughs> hadn't played Resident Evil 5 yet or didn't know what was going on here, it'd be more mysterious, but you have, so... I mean, you already know about the Lost Plagueis and all that fun stuff, so... Yeah, I already know about the Plagueis. See, at this point, know. if you had been playing this game for the first time when it had just come out and all that, they you would have known. I would be known. like, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck is going on? Random people. It's, it wouldn't be till later in the game where they start bursting out of their heads. So. True. I'm going to save the game. Yay! Don't you need, like, ink ribbons in the original games to be yep. able to save? Resident Evil 4 was the first Resident Evil game that kind of introduced mechanics that were out of ink ribbons. In other words, you can just save any typewriter. Then in Resident Evil 5, they even removed the typewriters. So, there you go. Yeah! I can hear the puppy! Puppy, oh. I'm coming to save you! To puppy! The day, you me go! Oh, 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 there's a crow. Fuck you, crow. Crow comes before dog. What did it drop? Oh, hand grenade, sweet. What is this? It looks like a warning of some sort. Thank you, Leon. It's okay, Poppy. I'll save you. There you go. Now go be free. Bye, Poppy. Yay. That made me happy. Okay. Yeah. Fun fact. Did you know that's the same dog from that's in Haunting Ground? Yes. I did know oh! that. Okay, I'm back. Hey Eric, welcome to the commentary of Resident Hi, Evil Eric. 4. <laughs> welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Yes. Oh. Care to well, introduce I, yourself, dear sir. Well, hi everybody. My name's Fanoinga93, a person that you probably do not know. But that's okay, because I would like to remain anonymous. <laughs> okay. And I have just arrived, and I <laughs> well, am that... yep. Okay, so Jordan and Eric, we're right now recording oh, for commentary Resident Evil 4. I, you, you guys won't see what's going on, just... I, I'm kind of guying, because I know the game already, so I know what she's doing right now, even though I can't see what she's doing right now, so... Oh, oh, there they are. I see them. Hello, Be friend. Be careful, Yumi. Hello, friend. You have a shovel. Friends? You have friends? Herp. I kicked him what in the is face. this madness? I know, right? We're just there. figments of her imagination now commenting in the video, so. Um. Oh, that's just a thing. Hello, thing. Oh. Nope, I'm not gonna bother checking it. Oh, bear trap, I think. Yep. No, never mind. Never mind. It's not a bear trap. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Did you fall for one I'm of the bear sure. traps yet? Yeah. Huh? Did you fall for one of the bear traps? No. Oh. That, that means you're smarter than I was the first time I played this game. <laughs> oh, I had, haven't seen any bear traps yet. Alright, be careful. They're, they're deadly. Oh, I can't run up there. Terp derp. I uh, still don't see any bear traps. Yar. But there is a house. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Is there anyone in here? There's a box with money in it. Yay! Money, 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 money. Eh, I can't get that box from here. But, yes, I will use this green herb. Thank you. Right there. There's nothing in that box, what the hell? Oh, 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 that's lovely. Guess there's no discrimination here. 
Yeah. Better find her fast. Wow, wow, Leo. And then when that that when I first played this game, that part I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. hi there. Where are you? Oh, hello, friend. Hello, friend. Rick, boys, you want to come over oh. and see what's happening? God damn it! And I just healed. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Hey, okay. Nothing. Oh. Yeah, I'm just having to like what, what's it on. I mean, I've never played. Hello, Resident friend. Are they on a hill? Okay. She's almost yeah. past the beginning area, so. Beginning. Well, not. She, I mean, technically, it's still the beginning of the game. But I mean, like the very first area. Oh, oh, there's a guy in there. Ow. Yep, Damn. that guy is a jumper. Um. <laughs> I wonder what he does all day, stay inside that house, just waiting for someone to enter so he can hit them uh -huh. over the head with an axe. No, I don't want to use first aid spray. I will use this, though. Yeah. It, it's probably a good idea that, yeah, you keep on to some healing items because you'll see in just a little bit. Oh, 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 gimme. Hanging ammo. Hurt. This next part is going to be interesting. How do I reload? Yes, there we go. Awesome. I know how to do things. Okay. Ready to go through the big old gates there, Yumi? Yes, I am. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Loading. Hello, Ingrid. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Yep, she's going to send you a play manual, which explains some elements of the game, which includes melees, how to combine her. I just did that. Kick, I just did that. I know, as I said, but remember, if you've played Resident Evil 5 before, so you know how melees and all that work, so... Yeah. Oh, that's it. The only thing useful was one thing she told me. <laughs> Thanks, Honigan. Thanks a lot. All right, let's go. I always forget the Honigans in this game. I guess it's mainly... Well, I, I won't say I'm anything. Kidding. She, she, well, I won't say that. I'll just let it come when it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can zoom! Yeah. Oh! Binoculars. Hey, look, yeah. Chicken. Chicken. Okay, there's a dude with the stuff. There's the ah, police guy on fire. That's quite lovely. Well, you know, after you yeah. capture somebody from a different country, you put them on a stake and oh. light them up. Of course. Yeah. Oh, do I just run up there? Yep. I mean, there's nothing else you can really do, right? True. Ah, oh, I can be a ninja and sneak in this way. Alright. Let's do this. Aw, oh, chicken's in my fucking way. I'm gonna shoot this lady in the butt. Ah, take it, lady! Take it! Oh, I missed. I recommend, Yumi, you try your best here for several reasons. Also, try going inside some of the buildings. They have advanced use and disadvantage. Hello, Hello, old man. Oh, jeez. Ow. Oh, oh, shit, there's people behind me. Ah, uh, run! Run, Leon, run! I'll repeat myself, Yumi. You might want to be careful where you run. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies there. There's a lot of enemies. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Do you remember Public Assembly from Resident Evil 5? Yes. This is I got kind of, yeah, this is Resident Evil 4's equivalent of that, so... Oh, I see. So you're gonna be here for a little bit, so just try to stand your ground the best you can. However, there's one... I was gonna say, there's one advantage though, which I should tell you right now. Resident what? Evil 5, after you beat Public Assembly, you know how all the items like magically disappeared? They don't hear? Yeah, they don't hear, so you don't need to worry about collecting items right now. You can, I mean, they're helpful for this battle, but if you want to save them till after this battle to just stay okay as well. However, I would argue that the enemies that are in here are more deadly than the ones in Resident Evil 5. Particularly the special enemy, which I'm not sure if you've seen yet or not. Like, nope. you know. Hi, lady. You know how Resident Evil 5 has the Executioner at this point, right? Yeah. Well, there's an equivalent here, but I'm not going to say who it is until you meet Is them. it a chainsaw guy? Maybe. Oh, 
I already knew it was a chainsaw guy, and I'm shooting these people in the face, and they're not dying. Chainsaw guy? You mean Leatherface? It could be Leatherface. He puts a potato sack over his head, you see. Hello, Oh, friend. come on. That's just blatant rage. I know. Not, it's obviously inspired by, but... Well, you can't the shoot them and then kick them. That's helpful. Yep, shoot that's them! Right. Then uh, kick them! In the face! You mean my money. The potato, the potato sack has a little small hand eye grenade. hole in it, which you can shoot the sun up for a second so you can't push the chainsaw guy down. But generally speaking, usually... Hello, just, lady! If you know where the chainsaw guys are, because there's actually more than one, then you can avoid triggering them, but... Oh, jeez. <laughs> At the same time, they are worth a lot of money. Oh, know. geez. There's a guy coming through the window. Oh, wait, but there's handgun ammo here. Take it. As I said, oh. maybe one of the better strategies is just running around. Get out of my way! way. Oh, wow. It's just to kind of find a building to hide um, in. Oh, Yumi? Mm -hmm. Even yeah. though it'd be kind of interesting to see how this goes for you, I'm just going to make one recommendation. Even though you think that climbing the bell tower seems like a really good idea, it isn't. Ooh. Yes, an herb. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, what? Someone's mowing the lawn outside <laughs> That's my okay. window. So How I can ironic, barely... somebody's blowing the leaves outside, too. Woo! That was going How to coincidental! Say, though, even though climbing the bell yeah. tower might seem like a really good idea, it is. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It I seems figured. like I know, yeah. Want me to tell you what happens, or you just want to try and see what happens? Um, the chainsaw guy comes out of nowhere and kills you? No, it's Oh, God, nice. hello, people. Want me to tell you? I mean, you can try it yourself. I probably shouldn't be telling you this because it's too much of a tip. But I guess you're at the very beginning. Oh, 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 egg. Yes. I'll kind of stop giving you tips of what's going on after this point. It's just that the village fight is kind of a difficulty spike. That's one that usually can get you into your mood game, so... I'm going to use a grenade. That's funny because I got through the first try. I know, George. You did good. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, it's caught on fire. So it's okay. uh, for me, I was I didn't realize the first time I played it that I was supposed to be staying there to fight because I didn't realize I was kind of like locked in an arena type deal. Boo! I tried running through yeah. the because uh, I guess oh. you're saying this while you mean playing, but one of the chainsaw guys is waiting by the exit, so I was like, ah, but and I got myself killed. One of the chainsaw guys is like waiting for you. Oh. Yeah, headshot. Take that. Listen, I'm not gonna give you any more advice after after this. Oh. La campana es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Lord Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Honiga, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Well, it didn't give me a, an option for difficulty. It was just kind of like magic difficulty. That's okay. Difficulty is actually on the options menu, actually, speak of the devil. So. Oh, then what? Wait. I'm not sure. Then... I'm not sure if it sets you to amateur or normal. And you won't have. There's no hard on Resident Evil 4. And the difficulties are amateur, normal, professional. And professional? Oh, yep. I see. So you're either set to amateur or normal right now. I'm not sure which one. Okay. Well, whatever. I didn't die. That's what's important. Yar. And I got money. You I was in this lucky. house earlier, I think. I was gonna say you're also lucky you didn't trigger one of the two chainsaw guys. So. There's two chainsaw guys. Yeah. But they only oh, trigger geez. during the village fight, so I don't think they're there right now. You can just kind of go around town and get all the supplies because they'll be helpful later on. Trust me. Yay! It's also, you which herbs are good to combine? Uh, in actually, the... in the Resident Evil... Ooh, shotgun! The best, okay. But, Yumi, the absolute best combination of herbs in Resident Evil uh, 4 is green, red, yellow. Alright, I've got yellow and green. Yep. So, should okay. I wait to combine, uh, no, no, you, them, no, no, you, combine you, them now? Just, just combine them now. You'll see why. Uh, do you want to know what yellow... I mean, you know what red herbs do. You know what green herbs do. Can, you know what yellow herbs do? No. They permanently increase your life. But you can only use them if you combine them with a green herb. 
that makes sense. Kind of like okay, how so red herbs. Okay, you can herbs... only use it if. Okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, like how red herbs can only be combined with green herbs, yellow herbs can only be combined with green herbs as well. Red herbs will completely restore your life, like they're doing Resident Evil Five. Yellow <laughs> herbs will herbs. increase your maximum life. So. Aha. And then if you have a green, yellow, red herb, it'll increase your, it'll refill all your health and increase your life. So. And increase your life. Yeah. But just remember, uh -huh. yellow herbs Here's are very valuable. Here. Give me. Uh, uh, uh. Also, Yumi, uh, just a tip for later. When Ashley is with you, you can use yellow herbs on Ashley to increase her life as well. So. Oh, I see. Yep, yep. That is good to know. Good to know, good to know, good to know. I'm going to jump down and break this box. Come here, box. I want your soul. Ooh, a red herb. I'm a so now you can find that, right? Okay, Mr. Eric. Ah, oh, good stretch. Excuse me for a second. You continue hey. going on your mystical quest or whatever it is. Oh, I've said that. Is sex is like a tiger in space. There's a cow here. Should I kill it? Eh, it's up to you. Do you want to kill it? you, cow! I'm knifing it. You knife that cow, Leon. You knife that cow. All right, cool. There's a lot more opportunities for animal cruelty in Resident Evil 4 also. <laughs> You're a well, terrible no. person! Ooh, another red herb. I didn't even see that there. Hello, chicken. I can't knife oh, <laughs> um, should I go into the bell tower now? Yeah, you can go in the bell tower now. As I said, uh, I'll just since I told you I'd help you in this village area, then after this, I'm gonna be a lot less helpful. I will just say this up front: uh, right now, the village is completely safe, so you don't need to worry too much about anything. You just okay. go around and get all the. Oh, yeah. However, I'm gonna warn you: after this area, I'm not gonna give you any helpful tips like that. You figure it out. Okay. Okay. Besides a few things here and there, which is kind of like... Um, I can't go into the church, because they're in there. Yep. Or am I supposed to? I don't remember. Uh, I will just say, you're going to have to go to the church eventually inside the game, but right now, no. Since they're in there, and that would be weird. I don't think there's anything left here for me. I think I should leave. Um, no, let's... Sure, you explored all the buildings? I think I did. I got a shotgun. Yep. You got the most important thing there, so. I've got a shotgun. Shotgun waiting. Oh, can I go in here? No. Uh, let's look at this guy's dead body while I'm wandering around like a lost person. What in God's name? Hmm? Just the, the what Leon said. I've already been in that house. Um, can I go in here? No. Shit. There's like only one house I could really go in. No, you can actually go inside oh, all wait. the buildings there. Besides one. Wait. Ha! Yes, give me that. But I was actually going to say, you actually can get inside every oh, single oh, building oh, but yes. one inside. Ha! So. Found another way into another building? Yes, I did. Oh, 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 I can push this. Oh, that would have been smart. Some kind of liquid is dripping off the table, an unpleasant smell. Great. Ha! -ha! I saw you there, Barrel. You are mine now. Several small items here, nothing useful. Leon just likes to check everything. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, door! Okay. Um. I would argue, though, there's more things hidden in Resident Evil 4 than there are in 5, though, so it makes sense why you want to check everything, so. I'm finding quite a bit of ammo, though, which is really nice, because I'm sure it's not going to be this easy to find later on. Especially since, trust me when I say it, you're going to need all the ammo you can get for something that's not going to happen immediately, but not too far away. Um... Um, I can't go in that building, apparently. Um, I think I've been... Have I been in this one? Yes, I have, because there's a hole in it. Um, there's a hole here. It's gone there. There's a hole here. There was a hole here is actually the line, but... Does that mean I, I haven't gone in this building yet? Really? I might speed this up. I have gone in this building. What the hell? 
Okay. I think I'm done here. Okay. Ready to leave the village? Yes. Although I do want to check this door. It's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know, game. Good to know. The game has informed. I've been in that shack. I've been in here. I have, but there's nothing in here. What is this? Nothing. Shit, I'm getting all turned around. Want me to tell you the way okay, out? I found it. Okay. It's uh, it's like a wooden door. Mhm. Mm in the back of the village, right? Yep. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh, shiny thing. I was about to tell you, this area is the one of the two areas in the game that has blue medallions. Shoot them right now, and later in the game you'll get a free weapon. So I recommend before you leave this area, start looking around and look for them blue medallions, because it'll be worth they it. They are there in this area. I don't remember how many to be exact. Oh. But oh, stop shaking, Leon. Got it. Oh shit. I remember what I also told you earlier. Yes, I do remember you telling me that. Yep, shooting them gets the enemy's intentions. Hello, friend. Come here. I'm too lazy to go to you. Nope. 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 All right, you mean? Take a lot of shots. There's only three tips I'm going to give you inside this area, all right? The first one was the Blue Medallions one, so I got two other ones, all right? My second tip, there's going to be a, like a well nearby, and it's going to be something shiny. Don't knife the shiny immediately just to pick it up like might be your instinct. There's a way that it will be worth a lot more, is if you put the lid of the like well down first, so that it lands, and you'll be able to pick it up when it's clean rather than dirty, okay? Oh, I see. Okay, so I put the lid down and then knife it, yep. and it comes it off. Correct. Oh, I see it now. Yep. Okay. All right. Do I like I knife think, the lid, or yep. do I just check it? Uh, I think you knife the lid first, then knife the shiny, so then the shiny doesn't fall into the dirty wires. So. Well, okay. Maybe I have to go to the back of the lid. It's not letting me knife it, and I can't. Shit. Maybe you press A. I'm not sure. Maybe you're just observing it. What did it? I don't. It says check it. But check it, check it good. I'm pretty sure there's a wooden beam that's like supporting the lid. So. Oh, there is. Oh, then I guess I shoot that. Yeah, yeah. Ha! Genius. Oh no, no, Leon, no, shit. What? Now I fucked it up. Did you drop the thing? No, I. <laughs> I opened the lid after I shot it and closed it. <laughs> Well, it's time to reset the game. <laughs> well, well, I guess this has been part one of Resident of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. <laughs> yeah. You went on for a good 35 minutes. <laughs> Arr. Uh, so I will see you guys in another episode. Ah, uh, do you. Goodbye.